simulate the look of old crumpled paper um, entirely within Photoshop. And this is really cool if you've never done it before. First of all, um, I'm going to create a new layer by clicking on the Create a New Layer button here. I'm going to grab the Gradient tool and change the mode of the Gradient tool to Difference. Really important that you do that. And I'm also going to select um, Diamond as the style of um, Gradient. And I'm just going to go crazy putting gradients all over the place here. And when I'm done, and I, it kind of looks like it's a little bit, I guess, crumpled, um, I'm going to go to Filter, Render, oh sorry, Stylize, and I'm going to emboss the image. And what you'll notice now is that it's looking a little bit like paper. Fiddle around with the settings until it looks good. And hit OK. Now if you change the um, uh, blending mode of this layer to overlay, what you'll get is something that looks a little bit like this. And it's actually a remarkably easy way to create the effect of um, wrinkled paper without going outside Photoshop. Another way you can do this is by finding a real paper texture. Um, www.stockxc.hu uh, is a great source of royalty free images. Um, they have some great high resolution paper textures. Now in order to do this, all you need to do is go to File, Place, and put the um, paper, real image of paper into your document. Go to Edit and Transform. Change the size of that so it actually fits your page. Then set the blending mode in the layers palette to overlay, or whatever takes your fancy. Fiddle around with it a little bit. I find that the um, blending modes in Photoshop can be quite unpredictable and sometimes you come up with really cool effects by um, just playing around with that. So, after performing all of those different um, functions and um, applying all of those different filters, this is what my poster ended up looking like. I guess um, the only thing I didn't do, as opposed to um, creating my own um, paper texture within Photoshop, I got a um, fo high resolution photograph of some old paper and overlaid it over this image. I also added a noise filter to my pictures, um, just to rough those up a little bit. And the other thing I did was made my uh, brush really, really, really small and held down the shift key and ran it directly down the middle and directly across the center um, of the document to, to create um, some folds. So that's um, basically a way of working in Photoshop that will enable you to create um, non-destructive um, changes to images and to create a really cool looking grindhouse effect. Have fun.